We're going to talk about technology here. Faster, more powerful, that means more expensive. Mark New, though, has one technology that's very different. Hi, Mark. Well, Phil, you might say this technology is as easy as pie. And forgive the uh, bad, bad pun because this technology is actually called Raspberry Pi and users are truly finding it appetizing because it's selling out very quickly due to its affordable price. Developer Michael Koster is working on a gateway that would someday allow all kinds of smart technology to connect seamlessly. At the center of his project is a computer that arrived through the mail slot in his door. It's called Raspberry Pi. It exceeded all of my expectations. That they can basically use an inexpensive chipset, more of the kind you would find in a, in a broadband router or something like that, but build a whole single board computer around it. Raspberry Pi is the size of a credit card. The cheaper model costs just $25, and this one at $35 has 512 megabytes of RAM, two USB ports, and an Ethernet port. A nonprofit foundation in the United Kingdom developed Raspberry Pi with the goal of making computer education more affordable for children. I'm really impressed. Computer science lecturer Johnny Martin is impressed that such a cheap device can run a full version of Linux, meaning applications such as Python, Java, and web browsing are no problem at all. He believes the potential for improving computer education globally is enormous, but... So as much as it may help the educational market, and we're, you know, looking forward to it helping third world countries, you know, and children, that, you know, and learning experiences and so on, it may at the same time be helping people build drone robots, right, and uh, do evil things as well. I mean, it's to be seen. Peter Moy is using Raspberry Pi to develop embedded touchscreens on electronic devices. He waited four months for his Raspberry Pi order to arrive. One of the big obstacles to getting more people has been that they've been having trouble producing them. They originally thought they would only sell or produce about 10,000 of these boards, and the pre-orders were just phenomenal. They've sold 400,000 boards at this. The other thing is that people are just not used to having this much power in a package of this size. So there's a lot of, conf a lot of people are still trying to figure out, well, what's the most effective way that we can use this thing? Moy calls Raspberry Pi a huge leap in performance for such a low price because comparable technology would cost at least five times more. Raspberry Pi is being used extensively in the field of robotics, and one enthusiast even hooked up Raspberry Pi with a webcam and a GPS and to a hydrogen balloon, which folded up into near space, taking some amazing photos before it burst. They call it Pie in the Sky. Phil. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to give you a tough time for your puns. Thank you very much, Mark New.